Well, I mean, the themes of this film are have always been uh, misfits finding each other and finding purpose and serving something greater than themselves. It's a rare trilogy that it really touched a lot of people, and, and you know, a lot of kids have grown up with this, and, and it's I mean, that makes us all very proud. I think they're going to find whatever they loved about the Guardians in the la in the first two movies. They're going to see that and then some with this. I think we go deeper with the emotion, we go deeper with the action, we go deeper with the consequence because this is the third act. Life, they've lived a life, so everything costs a bit more, and I think that's going to add to the overall satisfaction of the movie for the fans. This one is a bit different because it's actually uh, an origin story for Rocket. Uh, so we're getting to learn a lot more about uh, Rocket's backstory, understand why he is the way that he is. I, mean, I think the idea of found family, which is this group of misfits who don't believe they're lovable, and their superpower ends up being that they realize they are because of each other. You know, I know that it might sound schlocky, but it's literally everything you can kind of hope for. It, it's the most human of the superpowers. Well, I think that, you know, people are able to see a, a trilogy that lives up to the title trilogy. It's a one complete story for the Guardians from beginning to end. I think that we really learn the origins of Rocket. We see where he's from. We see how that fits together with everything. And I think we see where we've been going with all three movies all along. There's a movie about joy. There's a movie about compassion. There's a movie about caring for all living beings on the planet and not being cruel.